Hey guys, as you know, Onslaught has brought us a lot of great weapons with many good perks, and since these can be quite confusing, today I am bringing you the god rolls for each brave weapon. I'll be showing you multiple perk combinations that work best in easy, mid and end game content to make sure that you have everything covered. I've also got a couple of interesting and unique god rolls, for example an infinite ammo succession that you can use like a primary weapon, or a forbearance capable of getting your entire grenade back with 4 kills. Quick announcement before we start, it's double Grandmaster loot this week and I am doing Grandmaster carries on the weekend. So if you want some help farming Ascendant Shards and the Slammer Adept, then make sure to join my Discord server. Starting off, we have Edge Transit, and for this weapon, there used to be three main god rolls that were extremely good, but since they are nerfing Deconstruct in final shape, we are basically down to one god roll, and that is Spike Grenades with Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch. You can take this god roll even into day one raids because it's so good, and so simple to use. It allows you to load up 21 and even 24 shots in the mag with a mag perk and the backup mag spec, which later you can switch to boss spec when you're about to damage the boss. In order to properly overflow the mag with Envious Assassin, you need to get kills with other weapons. After that, you need to pull out Edge Transit that way it resets Envious Assassin so it can further overflow the mag up to triple its capacity. The reason why having 21 shots in the mag is so nice is because you can fire those shots in 10 seconds, meaning that you will only have to proc bait and switch once. Moving on, we have Hammerhead, and this is an exceptionally good machine gun that can rival a crafted commemoration because it comes with double damage perks such as Rampage with Killing Tally, giving you a 73% damage increase, making this weapon shred everything, even in endgame content. This perk combination goes really well with Hunters because they can dodge to reload the weapon while still maintaining the perks active. This weapon will kill most enemies extremely quick. Another very interesting perk combination is Rewind Rounds with either Killing Tally or Onslaught. This is similar to the first God Roll, but in this case we don't have to worry about losing the damage perks when reloading, since Rewind Rounds will be refilling our mag from reserves. Next up, for our last heavy weapon, we have the Falling Guillotine. And this is an amazing sword for everyone that doesn't have a crafted bequest. The main perks that you are looking for with the Falling Guillotine are Frenzy or Vorpal combined with either Surrounded when damaging bosses that have enemies around them such as Crota, Bait and Switch for single target DPS, and Whirlwind Blade is also a perfectly viable option. Ideally, you have either one of these with Frenzy because Frenzy is 5% more damage compared to Vorpal. But Vorpal is also perfectly fine, so don't worry too much about it if you don't get a Frenzy roll. Falling Guillotine can also roll with Eager Edge, so if you don't have an Eager Edge sword, then make sure you grab one. Moving on to our special weapons, we are starting off with Forbearance, a fan favorite ever since it came out in Vow of the Disciple. Just like with the original, in here you also want Envious Assassin with Chain Reaction, and even though Chain Reaction is getting nerfed next season, this combo will still be perfectly viable. Another interesting perk combination is Unrelenting with Chain Reaction, and this kind of provides you with that healing that the original Forbearance has, while still maintaining the ability energy that we get from the new Origin perk. Lastly, and in my opinion, the combo that stands out the most is Demolitionist and Wellspring. This is unique to the new Forbearance, allowing each kill to provide you with 8% ability energy from Wellspring, 10% grenade energy from Demolitionist, and 5% grenade or melee energy from the Origin trait, meaning that a single kill will be able to provide you with 23% grenade energy that's 4 kills and you'll pretty much have your entire grenade back, and getting multi-kills with forbearance is extremely easy. Next up, we have our second grenade launcher, the mountaintop. 
there is two main god rolls worth chasing with this weapon. The first one being the most popular one, autoloading with recombination. You get kills with your other weapons, stacking recombination, and as soon as you see a champion or a tougher enemy, you pull out mountain top and delete him. That is the main purpose of this god roll. Now, if you have an overflow recombination roll, then I suggest keeping it because in the final shape, once we enhance overflow, you will be able to store 3 shots in the mag, giving you an extremely good burst of damage. The second god roll is more orientated towards actively using the weapon to add clear and shoot enemies. This involves ambitious assassin with either frenzy, rampage, one for all or adrenaline junkie. With this perk combination, you will use the mountain top for add clear mainly while still maintaining a good damage boost. Moving on, we have succession, and this weapon specifically hasn't really changed much compared to its craftable counterpart. However, it does have a very unique perk combination that allows you to have infinite ammo. Discord and redirection have a very fun and interesting synergy. Discord will refund you ammo on kill once you activate it, meaning that you will be able to snipe red and orange bar enemies completely for free while also stacking a damage boost with redirection. Each hit with succession will provide you with a stack of redirection and each stack is a 20% damage boost to your next shot against any major enemy. The maximum boost is 5 stacks, which is a 100% damage increase on your next shot. This basically doubles your damage against majors, bosses and vehicles. So the whole rotation would look like this. You get a kill with any weapon to activate Discord, then switch to succession and start sniping red and orange bar enemies for free. Repeat this cycle to stack up redirection and then as soon as you see a tougher enemy like a champion, you can pull out succession again to expand your redirection stacks and melt him. For those that want to go for the classic succession god roll, then reconstruction and recombination is the way to go. Similarly to the first god roll, you simply stack up your weapon and then pull it out to melt any major enemy. The last god roll is more of a boss DPS one, and that is reconstruction with either focus fury, firing line or vorpal. Next up, we have primary ammo weapons and we are starting off with Luna's Howl. For this hand cannon, you ideally want subsistence with incandescent for the overall add clear and synergy with the solar subclass. You can also go for subsistence with Magnificent Howl, which is actually a pretty fun perk combination because you'll be seeing some ridiculous damage numbers when you hit headshots since Magnificent Howl is a 50% damage increase and it lasts forever as long as you get headshot kills. When you also combine this with subsistence, you will pretty much never have to reload your weapon as long as you carefully aim your shots. The other god roll that you might want to consider is heal clip with incandescent. This is the opposite of the other two because in here you will want to reload quite often in order to make use of heal clip. Which by the way, it's very nice in those emergency situations. Moving on, we have our second hand cannon, Midnight Coop. In this case, Kinetic, which tend to be much less popular than energy hand cannons but in this case, it comes with some great perks. For all around content, a good god roll is explosive payload or firefly with frenzy or rampage. I personally like firefly and frenzy because I can use this in easy content as well as grandmasters if I really want to. Firefly provides you with that extra add clear that most kinetic weapons truly need. For easy to mid content, we have firefly with one for all. This is a very popular perk combination because Firefly explosions will proc one for all and one for all will increase Firefly's explosion. So the synergy between those two is top tier. Our final god roll is designed specifically for hard content such as Grandmasters. That being explosive payload and kinetic tremors. Both of these perks will allow you to deal with tough enemies from a distance while still being very effective. The extra damage instance from explosive payload unfortunately doesn't count towards kinetic tremors activate. If it did, then this would be absolutely S tier. 
Next up, we have Hank Jury, and with this weapon, a balanced god roll that you can use in most content is Firefly with Kinetic Tremors. Firefly will add clear and take care of the easier enemies, while Kinetic activates on the tougher ones. Very simple, yet effective god roll. The other two rolls that you want to be looking for, specifically for harder content, are one for all or explosive payload with Kinetic Tremors. This is because Kinetic Tremors will activate one for all when damaging multiple targets, making the synergy really good. Explosive Payload and Kinetic Tremors are on the other hand better for isolated targets when you cannot proc one for all. Moving on, we have Blast Furnace, and for this pulse rifle you want to go Kinetic Tremors combined with either one for all, Firefly or Frenzy. Just like with the previous weapons, we have Kinetic Tremors and one for all synergy, and we also have the overall god roll in my opinion, which is Kinetic Tremors with Firefly. Firefly being used for out clear against easier enemies, while Kinetic Tremor takes care of the tougher ones. Next up, we have Elsie's Rifle, which has two main gold rolls. One of them being Repulse or Brace with destabilizing rounds for that supreme void synergy and add clear potential. This roll will make everything volatile while providing you with that void overshield for the damage reduction. We also have Rewind Rounds with any damage perk such as Frenzy or Desperate Measures. This is more of a general content god roll if you don't need the void and add clear from the first god roll. Lastly, in the Brave Arsenal we have the Recluse, and the classic god roll for easy to mid-level content is Subsistence with either Frenzy, Surrounded or Desperate Measures. Frenzy is good everywhere, pretty much. Surrounded is nice if you like to play aggressive and have it constantly procced, and Desperate Measures is good as long as you don't mind activating it, which can be a hassle. If you want more Void Synergy and add clear, then Repulsor Brace with Destabilizing Rounds is also a really fun option that you can use in easy to mid content. Keep in mind that in the final shape you will be able to enhance these weapons, making some of them even better. And that is all for today, I hope that you have enjoyed the video, and huge shout out to the Patreon members. Have a wonderful rest of your day.